So Traction is a creative agency that's really good at uncovering insights about consumers and connecting them closely to creative work. Consumers are harder to reach than ever before and every brand is looking for a way to break through and you're seeing things like uh, Nike with the Colin Kaepernick act that are really turning heads um, and asking, having brands ask difficult questions like should we get involved with politics um, which can be a lightning rod but can you know also backfire if not handled well. Brands that have purpose at their core like Patagonia have had great success and built you know giant businesses by making purpose the core of what they do. But brands engaging in purpose can also be dangerous, right? Pepsi ran the Kendall Jenner spot and it really backfired because it didn't have authenticity, it wasn't deftly handled, and they had to issue a really embarrassing apology. I think the reality is if you're a brand like Nike, right, that's focused on urban youth as the core of your market, taking a stand on issues that align with your customer um, makes perfect sense and can be a great strategy. But if you're Target and you sell to everyone in America and you let transgender people use the bathroom that they identify with because they're human beings and they need to go to the bathroom, you could face a massive boycott that impacts your stock price. The realities of getting involved with politics can be severe. Um, my agency, Traction, issued a uh, policy last year. We created an HR policy we call, called Days of Action, where we gave employees two days of paid leave per year to participate in democracy, however they see fit. They can go to a protest march. We've had people canvass for, pol for candidates, uh, volunteer for causes. And um, I wrote a blog post about why we're offering paid leave for activism. It wound up going viral and generating, you know, a, a massive PR story. We were on Breitbart and Fox News and, you know, we got great press and we got negative press and the trolling was vicious. I had threats. You know, my wife had to ask me if I was safe. We kind of really have a, a clear understanding of the realities of that, having been through that experience ourselves. There was a study at the Iconoculture Summit that was uh, presented a couple years ago uh, where they had looked at 500 campaigns from 200 marketers and classified them uh, to see what kinds of campaigns outperformed expectations, right? Having something that was entertainment or emotional driven actually underperformed expectations. But campaigns they classified as disruptive were 32% more likely than average to outperform expectations. Advertising can work by building or reinforcing ideas or constructs that live in the prospect's mind. When you take an idea that already exists in someone's mind and portray it in a different light that is in line with their values, but also kind of creates cognitive dissonance in their mind, then you have the potential to create an ad or a story or a piece of content that someone could see once and remember for the rest of their life. That's powerful. And that's what I think is the true opportunity for brands, is to not just look for how do we have a me too approach to cause marketing or purpose driven marketing, which is a different you know name for it today, or dabbling in politics um, when maybe they don't have the authentic permission to do so, but really think about how do we craft um, something meaningful that will have an impact on consumers.